What I've noticed is that the underemployment rate in Trinidad and Tobago using table 34 comes off the CSO data on CSSP is that underemployment in Trinidad and Tobago it, uh, has been on the rise. Now, this is something that uh, we should be concerned about in particular because unemployment is also on the rise. Professor Roger Hossein says, based on information he received from the CSO on the labor force, there is a great need for concern about the rise in underemployment and unemployment in TNT. People are working less hours likely because of the decline in economic activity. Some firms, instead of being able to, to offer their workers 40 hours, now try to structure their labor force in a way that they say, if I have five workers, I won't send everybody home. I would give one day off or one day and a half off during the week to each one of you also our wage bill would fall but everybody will still get a dollar so they can buy a bread. He says now that there's a rise in unemployment there's a gap in the economy that needs to be filled. The way macroeconomics uh, guides the economy is we try to minimize unemployment and we try to optimally deploy or uh, deploy all the resources at our disposal. So when you have a, an economy in which you have more unemployment and rising underemployment, it means that you can't produce at the boundary of what you are capable, and therefore there is a gap between what you can optimally produce and what you are producing, and that's the output gap in some sense then. That's the output gap in the economy. Professor Hossein laments that the number one factor that is inhibiting economic progress in this country is crime. If we could fix this crime situation, I'm going to use some crude numbers, they bring the murders from an estimated 615 this year down to about 200 and significantly increase our police patrol and reduce violent crime and home invasions together with, of course, other interventions by the state, for example, the ADB, perhaps being recapitalized and making more uh, loans uh, uh, more available and strategies in which we use to encourage big firms to invest more in rural areas for example if we can get Bermudas to set up an establishment in Mayaro or in the southwest peninsula and like type of investment where we we get the giant firms making billions of dollars to invest in other parts of the country we could get the economy moving forward. Charlotte Kisto, TV6 News.